What's up guys, Robert Three Strong here. Today is gonna to be more of kind of a video journal. Um, I'm gonna write some things on the whiteboard. Um, so don't worry, there will be exercises in future videos. You can uh, learn all the crunches and push-ups and all that stuff later. Today, I wanna to talk about uh, why uh, you don't have great endurance, uh, why you're not as big as you wanna be, um, why you're afraid of getting bulky, um, uh, how to essentially get the body that you want, okay? Here it is, folks, the holy grail of the fitness world right here laid out for you, okay? Oh, and there's a, another thing. Um, how could people be really strong and not big? That's, that's another one. But in some of my recent videos, I've been talking about changing up the rep schemes and stuff like that, and in past, past videos earlier in the year, I've even talked about this repetition continuum where you have strength on one end, endurance on the other end, and really kind of this variance of fitness and performance qualities um, along the way. And I, I kind of want to paint a picture for you because it's more than just the exercises. The exercises are, are, are just a tool. It's the concepts that you need to understand and then you know how to really get the most out of those exercises or else you know, there's only so many renegade rows you can do, only so many pull-ups you can do before, guess what? You're uh, back on watching these videos again. Anyway, enough of that. I've already spent a minute and a half doing that. Number one, what's the biggest thing that dictates how you are going to look overall? Genetics. I hate to say it, number one, there's always going to be that skinny bitch. There's always going to be that, that guy that can just look at a weight and he gets big. It's always going to be that way. So you have to understand at uh, a baseline level, let's just say no, no exercise, no dietary changes, what does your body naturally want to do? When you treat it like shit, what does it do? Does it still look great? Then guess what? You are going to be on the stage being, being one of those bodybuilders or fitness competitors. You made it. Or if your tendency is to just gain a bunch of fat and feel sluggish and feel awful, you're probably gonna have to put in a little bit more work to look like that other crowd. Okay, number two, intensity. Intensity, there is a variety of intensities that can work here. Um, when, when we're talking about the body that you want, it's not just how heavy you're lifting, you know, because certainly if you want to be big and strong, you're going to lift really heavy weights, you know, close to your max, 90% plus. If you want to be more of a bodybuilder, you know, probably middle of the road or so, you know, 70%. And then if you want the endurance end of the spectrum, you know, 60, 50% or less than your max, you know, so the intensity is key. Plus, how hard you push yourself in each, each one of those sets is a big factor. Tension, muscle tension. If I do a couple of reps and I rest, and I do a couple of reps and then I rest again, I've gained tension in the muscles and then I release that tension. That may be great for uh, developing strength and power because the quality of my movement is going to be higher, but um, as I release that tension, um, I reduce the capacity for the muscle um, to stay under that that load and therefore force itself to grow in size. Not necessarily strength, but in size, okay? So if you wanna get stronger, if, or if you wanna get bigger, or if you don't wanna get bigger, knowing how to deal with tension is very important. Number four, and this is a really big one, volume. You can get very strong doing a little bit of work, but you're not gonna get very big doing a low volume of work. It's finding out what is the amount of work that I need to do to get the result that I want. If I'm doing endless reps at a very low intensity, I'm probably not going to be the strongest and I'm probably not going to be the biggest. So when we look at how our program is and what we're doing and what our goal is, you know, these are some very important things to look at. Do I have what it takes? Am I pushing myself hard enough? Am I pushing myself hard enough, enough in each one of my sets? And is that a good thing? 
and volume. You know, am I doing too much work? Am I not doing enough? It all depends. Think about that, guys. See you tomorrow. Sorry, I just got serious at the end there. Huh.